So the question is, why people are speaking about God? And we see that in the world there's so many people that have so different ways of understanding this concept of God. So when I'm using this term, God, I don't know what the person that is listening will think, because obviously I'm using the same term that he's using to describe something else, maybe, God forbid, and then when I'm saying this name, so he thinks about whatever he presumes as the definition of this concept, mm. right? <coughs> and this is something that is, um, we can ask the same question about many other things, you know? Many places they, they, uh, they will, whatever, people that are, that are dealing with a certain industry, so they will say the industry, so they will speak about their industry, their field. Someone else that they're listening, that is listening, he have a different field and he will think about a different kind of industry. Yeah. So it's not only about this cotton, but when we're speaking about God, so then for sure it's much more, more sensitive than anything else, right? And it becomes to be very delicate. So for this reason, some people they're using the term the God of Israel. But then you get you fall into another hole of like what are you saying? You're saying that there's the God of Israel and there's other gods that are not the God of Israel? What are you saying when you're saying the God of Israel? So And there was also idol worship. And there's there's idol worshiping. So then they just use that. Right. So that's that's a big problem. And that's exactly the point. Now sometimes for me, why I'm using God? Because sometimes I, I think if I will say Hashem, maybe someone that is listening he doesn't know what I'm talking about when I'm saying Hashem. So I'm saying God, but really I'm referring to Hashem. Now, the same, the same problem is the reason that they say the God of Israel, meaning to exclude anything else that other people have in their mind. So if, the, if someone is talking about, thinking about our worshiping, so when I say God of Israel, so he would know that I'm not talking about his idol worshiping because he doesn't call his idol worshiping God of Israel, right? <coughs> so this is a very sensitive subject and it's very hard to find the right terminology that will fit for everybody. And we, I cannot, no one can like s give a whole introduction every time before saying Hashem. Um, anyhow, I want, to, I want to explain that when we say Hashem, what does it mean Hashem, literally, literal translation is the name, right? Hashem is the name. And when we say the name, so we are referring to Yud Kei Vav Kei, right? The name of Hashem, the way it is written in the Torah. <coughs> Now, when we are referring to any name, even the name, Yudke Vavke, it's already a limitation of the infinite light of Hashem. The infinity is not limited by in any way. So when we're speaking about any name, we're already speaking about something that we are able to reach out to. We are able to call out to. We have a relationship with it. Okay? So that's the name, Yud Ki Vavke. That's a le the first name that was revealed within the force of the creation. We can speak about the name of Yudke Valke in length in another time, but we see in the Torah that there is many other names. It's not the only name in the Torah. There's Elohim, there's Kel Shakai, there's many other names. You go through the Torah, you see different names. <coughs> so what is the way to understand the fact that God has many names? Right? I'm not talking about 
like our worshiping. I'm talking in the Torah, in the Torah itself. Many names. So in the Kabbalah, we explain that this is referring to the different attributes of, of God. So every different attribute will have a different name. Okay? So what is it like? There, there is a term that they, that they say, like, man with two hats. What does it mean, a man with two hats? That you have, like, let's say, for example, he's a bank manager in his working time, and then he's a father when he's coming back home, or a husband, or whatever it is, his, his hobby. Or that, that it, so according to the different occasion where, where that he's taking part of, so he will have a different hat, and people will call him different husband, father, this, that, whatever it is, right? <coughs> so we see that the way that we are relating to others is according to the function that they are filling for us in our life, okay? In the same way, obviously different, but in a similar way, also when we are referring to the infinity light that comes in different variations, different attributes to us, we give it different names. And we have to understand what is the special quality, what is the special significance of each one of those names. And that's a big portion that of, of the learning of the Kabbalah, is to understand those different names, what they mean, and when we, are, when we want to, 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 um, to connect to a certain attribute, a certain extension, of the light of the infinity, and we're using a certain name, so it's like address, that according to that address, we are focusing, we are pointing to a certain location within the spiritual dimension. So that will be the way to understand the way that we are calling the different names, and with this understanding, we can see that sometimes we're using Hashem, sometimes we're using Elohim, sometimes we're using different other names, and also God is also one of them. Okay, it's also one of those attributes. For me, the way I'm, the way I'm using the, this term is to, when I want to say it in a way that everybody will know that I'm speaking about infinity, so I'm using that name. Anyhow, um, Hashem will help all of us to be saved from any confusions and to have clarity in our mind, in our w the way that we are connecting and relating to Hashem. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.